Well, boys and girls, firstly, congratulations. You've made it through to the final of the greatest segment of all time. Each and every one of you have brought tears of laughter to fans throughout all of Australia. In fact, I think throughout the whole world. For this, you are going to be crowned kings and queens of Nissan Small Talk for 2016. You get the chance to go outside and grace the prestigious turf of ANZ Stadium. How good is it? Yeah! Come on, give us some pumps there. Give us some fists. Not so hard, you bros. I've got bad fists. Oh, good work. Are we, are we playing the grand final? No, you're not playing the grand final, but you're in the grand final of Nissan Small Talk. Congratulations, mate. Hall of Famer, well done. Good work. Hall of Famer for you, but you did very heavy knuckles. Good work. Congratulations, mate. Hall of Famer, good work. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 2016 All-Stars. Please stand and stretch everybody because you guys should be standing tall here. You need to appreciate what a prestigious position you've been put in here. It is fantastic what you guys have achieved. Now it's time to go outside and grace all the fans out there with your presence. For one last time this year, it's time to say, are you with me team? Yeah! Let's go. Well, here we are at the prestigious ANZ Stadium for Small Talk's 2016 premiers, the All-Stars. Let's take a look at this year's fearless lineup. First to make his grand entrance onto the illustrious turf in that very impressive Nissan Navara, it's Parramatta's very own rain man, Isaac the Stat Kid. Look at all the fans. He's a culinary king with expensive taste in perfume. Here's Braden. Up next are marriage experts and the very first queens of all stars, the adorable Georgia and Madison. His brain was strained while trying to guess where the Gundawindi Grey came from. Here's Thomas. And the crowd goes wild. And finally, they wrestled their way into lounge rooms all across Australia. It's double trouble with Herastus and Noah. Well, guys, how did you enjoy the drive out here on ANZ Stadium? Do you see anyone you knew here? Do you see anyone? Yeah. Who do you see? Famous? Yeah. Big man? Yeah, he's Myself? Famous. Yes, yourself. You're famous. Let me ask you about, since you've been on the footy show, because you're now all stars, which means you're the best of the best. What about you, Isaac? How's it changed your life? I've enjoyed it because I get lots of um, attention. You love the attention? Yeah. Well, mate, I think, you've, have you got a new hairstyle since I last saw you, or is that just an upgrade? Yeah, um, yeah new, just got new. it today. You got it today? Yeah. Looks magnificent. Now, Thomas, we met you at the Mill Perra Cults, right? Yep. Where you had a bit of trouble naming the town that the wonderful racehorse, the Gundawindi Grey, was from. So the Rockhampton rocket came from Rockhampton, right? So the Gundawindi Grey comes from... Oh, no! Yes! Rockhampton! Do you remember the name of the person that was called the Rockhampton rocket? Andy Murray? No, not Andy Murray. He's a tennis player, though. Rod Laver, his name was. He was the Rockhampton rocket. Yeah, he's not a rocket. Well, he's not really a rocket, I know, but he was just called the Rockhampton Rocket. Is he good? He's a good player. Now, Braden, how are you, mate? Are you all right? Yep. Now, you captivated us all with your wonderful taste in food. Now, team, what's the most disgusting thing that your parents make you eat that you really don't want to eat? I hate chicken. You hate chicken? The best food I had is was rabbit stew. Yeah, rabbit <laughs> stew. Is that good? Yes, yeah, nice. What's rabbit taste like? Chicken? <laughs> you still hate chicken? You don't? What, what do you, do you like, like chicken now? Yes. Now you're also a bit of a ladies man, I understand. <laughs> now you won, was your girlfriend's name Dakota? Yes. And you won her over with a little bit of perfume. Yes. <laughs> 
Tell us about Dakota. I only got with her yesterday. Oh, yeah, you got with her. So it's only one day old, this relationship. How did you get with her? Perfume. <laughs> so what did you do? You just went up and gave her some perfume? No, I put perfume on. <laughs> Did you call perfume or aftershave? Calvin Klein. Uh. Calvin Klein? You're, you're wearing Calvin Klein. How much do you put on? How many squirts? Ten. <laughs> Are you and Dakota still there? You're still together? Oh. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> now, moving on to the ladies in the group. Now, girls, you should be very proud of yourself because you're the first ladies we've ever had on the All-Stars, so congratulations. Now, you actually shook things up a little bit with your take on marriage. So, no, no, no. the husband looks, takes care of the kids, while the mums and wives and girlfriends go <laughs> out for dinner or breakfast or lunch. <laughs> and then the boys the just meet at someone's house and have a barbecue with all the kids. Well, that's how the family thing works. <laughs> <laughs> what have people been saying about your take on marriage? Has anyone been talking to you about this? Ooh, it really happens. Mums go we out for breakfast, happen. lunch and dinner. And, we see it and, then the, and then the dads go out on a barbecue in the pool. But what about... What are you guys? What happens to you guys, though? We, we, we swim in the pool. In the barbecue. Does this happen every weekend with you guys? Pretty much, pretty much. You've got a good life, haven't they? Yeah, probably. Now, Isaac, let's go to you. Now, you, my friend, are a mini version of our own David Middleton. As you can recall, every Parramatta game from 2014, who did they play in round 15 in 2015? They had a boy. <laughs> What about, okay, let me do another one. What about round three this year? Um, Bulldogs 6 to 20, Parramatta 1 at ANZ. Parramatta 1, round three this year? Yeah. I think that's incredible, mate. Mate, you actually came on the show last week. Yeah. And went head to head with Mido. In round 12, Parramatta came from behind to beat Newcastle 20 to 18. What was the half time score? 14 to 10 in favour of Newcastle. That's correct. <laughs> How did you enjoy that experience? Um, it was good to meet Mido. Um, he's, a, he's a good guy, yeah. but I was a bit too strong for him that night. That is brilliant. Mate, with this ability to memorise stuff, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to hold it um, like a um, restaurant with the best burgers. Best burgers, yeah, I'll go there. Okay. Now, Erastus and Noah. You two are charging you through our television station right at the end of the season. Now, there was so much excitement that it became too much for you, Erastus, didn't it? What did you say? Are you all right now? Do you want to go to the toilet now? Are you OK? It's because I was tackling him too much. Do you now understand what a postcode is? What is Blacktown's postcode? Squid! Yes. But, mate, your postcode's not on your shirt. Look at that in your shirt. What does that say? Jones Plumbing. <laughs> Tell me what a postcode is, Erastus. It's like a password. No. See, every suburb has a postcode. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, as we say goodbye to the graduates of 2016, there's only one thing that we still need to do. It's now time for small talk. Well, we've had some absolute gold this year in small talk brain strain. And to farewell 2016 is 30 weeks of small talk in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> if I kissed a girl, it'll like, taste like cucumbers. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm just gonna shake it. Oh, 
meat lovers. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. I like if, if you haven't tasted it tonight, I'm following you. I'm with you, bro. I like you. <laughs> Could you please make the noise of a koala bear? Squeak! <laughs> Spell nightingale. Anyway. Yes, good. He was born on the 19th. Am I speaking or not? <laughs>